Hey everybody, so today we're trying out a new product from MBW called the Bovide. So they've they've made this vibrator tool that goes onto a bow float and it's just to help consolidate the concrete as you bow float it. So we're gonna give it a try today and let you guys know what we think. Uh, it, it's universal so it fits on any bow float. It comes with a Milwaukee battery. Well it doesn't come with a battery but take some Milwaukee battery here for the vibration, just like their Three Demon Power Street. And here's where you turn it on right here. So here's the on button. And here's the vibration. That sets the amount of vibration. And it also has a light on it. Turn the light. So just like the Power Street comes with the light. And then uh, depending on how stiff you're pouring the concrete, crank the vibration up a little bit on it if you want. So right now I have it on zero. Turn that up. You can really crank it up high if you want. So we'll give it a try today. Let you guys know what we think. Yeah, it's five in back, four in front. Three trucks. Good. A little bit. A little bit. Quarter. A little bit. Quarter. That's what we like when the second truck's here before we even get done with the first one. So it ain't gonna take us long to dump one truck out. Something like this. Get them dumped right out. Get them out of here. And then I'll just set him over a little bit and then he'll empty him right out. Get that second one in because it's not gonna take us long to screed this thing. So we do have a little bit of slope build into this from the back to the front and you know that. A little bit of slope along with the radiant heat. The radiant heat in the, in the concrete usually dries up any moisture in the floor. So if you get any water dripping down off the cars, the radiant heat usually dries that right out. But we still like to put a little bit of, just a little bit of slope on it so we know the back is higher than the front. 
so we got definitely over halfway. We got that left to do. We got this thing here left to do. So hopefully, hopefully ten and a half is going to do it. It kind of, kind of looks like it's kind of. Oh. Trying out something new. The vibrator. Let's try out the new vibration. So let's turn it on. Well, I just put a little bit of vibration on it for now. The, the head on this thing also swivels, so it's a tilt head. So all I gotta do is move the handles back and forth. Works pretty good. Water reducer, we don't really need a ton of vibration, obviously. But just want to try this out for you guys, let you know how it's going to work. It seems to be working really nice. We did have to pour a pretty dry slump. This, this would really vibrate it, settle the rock a little bit, bring up the paste. Not only the vibration, but just a little bit of extra weight on the bull float too. Helps make it bull float a little bit easier. It probably weighs, I bet it probably weighs about five pounds total with the battery in there.
don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know what you think. Would you use something like this? Would it come in handy for your fours? Some of you guys are watching this that have tools, you know, you need us to test them out or something, just get in touch with me somehow, whether through email or direct message on Instagram. And we'll figure out a way to try to test it out for you if we can. MBW has uh, has sent us power trials there. Both their gas-powered, battery-powered, vibrating screeds, uh, compactors. So we, we test out all kinds of stuff for them. But I'm liking this. This was this is working good. Just got a, enough vibration on it to make make the bolt floating a little bit easier. It's a new boat boat too. We haven't used this boat boat yet either. This is from the boat boat's actually from Cadillac Concrete Products, but it will. This head will fit on any boat boat. All right, let's go over and get that other side, and then I'll be good here. Bovide. <laughs> I'm liking it. All right, that's it. And then just shut it off, hit the button, and you're good to go. It's a little broom finished patio we're doing after. So it goes from, it actually slopes an inch, the whole thing. You give it a nice light broom finish, cut some joints in it, and that's going to be the entryway to the house. We're doing this house floor tomorrow. This is about a 30 yard floor here. Uh, grab my mag. Grab the grade stick. About a half high, three quarters, uh, three eighths. Yeah. Pretty close. Okay over there. Yeah. Want to see if he'd come in at five tomorrow for us if, if we could get three trucks that way. You said you didn't want to go the way I was started. I said I didn't care.
got, I think you got enough. Yeah. Huh? Kind of dark this morning, huh? Close to, yeah. Those are wait a minute, they're just gonna step on it. So I can go this way. Vibration back on low. You guys hear that? Turn that up to there. Just this. Can't get concrete for anything else. Yeah. Nah. Two trucks a day is about all we can get. I don't know, he's gonna, I'm gonna figure out something for tomorrow.
He just got it on low. Yeah, you can't even hear it, right? <laughs> no, pretty, pretty quiet. So far, so good. Liking the vibration. I don't think I'll need it on that little, that little patio over there, though. I'd probably just use it without vibration over there. Just the weight will be plenty. That slope's about an inch and six feet, so I don't want the concrete to sag at all. I can help it. The guys that do the foundations here, the Joy Brothers, we do a lot of floors for them in a year, probably at least a hundred a year for them. So they're one of our best customers been doing I've been doing floors for them since about 1988 all right I'm gonna give this a little bit of a rinse Get over and get that patio done. Hoping he has enough concrete. I can hear him rattling already. <laughs> <laughs> 